Good morning, everyone. Prophetess Margaret Dizzee here. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. With Divine Apostolic World Ministries, where our desire is to spread the gospel throughout the whole wide world, throughout the nations, fulfilling the works of the Lord. Amen. So today I want to talk to you about prophecy so we can get a deeper understanding about prophecy. Amen. So prophecy was always here from the very beginning, from the foundations of the world. Prophecy was already here. Prophecy is powerful. Prophecy brings about a life. Amen. Um, The Bible says that our very tongue holds life and death. So prophecy holds the key to many different things. A lot of times we people are unaware as to how powerful our mouth is, how we unleash so much because we are spirit. And because there are a lot of people who are acting out of ignorance, um, where the Bible actually says, my people perish due to lack of knowledge, amen. This speaks of a spiritual ignorance, amen. So we have to be careful. We have to be more aware, amen of what prophecy is and how our tongues unleash life and death, how we have power in our tongues to cast out demons, serpents, scorpions, how we have authority in our very voices, amen, even in our minds to take captivity, every high imagination that exalts itself against the will of God. So I'm going to start from the very very beginning. I'm going to start from Genesis chapter 1. Amen. Verses one to four. And then I'm going to get into John chapter one, verse one to four. And that is Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Amen. So Genesis chapter one, verse one says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw the light was good and he separated the light from the darkness and he called the light day and the darkness he called night and there was evening and there was morning the first day. Amen. So that's Genesis chapter one, verse one to five. Excuse me for the error. Verse one to five. Amen. So we see here, it says in the beginning, okay, there was God. And he created the heavens and the earth. He says there was nothing but darkness and deep waters on the earth. Amen. And then God began to speak out. That is the very first prophecy we see in the Bible, where in the beginning, God speaks out because he is God. He has all power in him. There is everything. Remember when he spoke to Moses, he said, I am that I am because God is everything. Everything that surrounds us, he is. So everything that's around us is prophetic. When he began to speak out and create the foundations of this world, he was prophesying. God was prophesying over the earth and things came into pass as he opened up his mouth. So we have to understand the depths of our mouths, the depths of how everything is spirit and prophecy is spirit spiritual. And once we begin to understand that on that level, then we have more insight, amen, of how we have to be very careful when it comes to speaking out negative things, when it comes to speaking things that we desire and that we want to do. We have to speak it in a certain manner. We have to make sure that we are bringing it about a life. We're not tearing our own selves down. We're not tearing individuals down, but we are doing prophetic works of God, and not of the enemy. Amen. Now let's go here from John chapter one. Okay. Verses one to four. John chapter one, verse one says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made without him. Nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. Okay, that light was the light of all mankind. So we even see here, it it really iterated, reiterated Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. It really reiterated it, but in a different manner where we see the spiritual nature of it here. The light is radiating on these particular verses because we see what it's saying here in death. Okay. In the beginning was the word. Remember, the word is prophetic. 
Jesus comes, right? It says here, and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning and through him all things were made. Without him, nothing has been made, right? Then it says, in him was life and that life was the light of all mankind. So it's saying in the beginning, way in Genesis, way before time, since since God was here, Jesus was always there. So as God was creating the foundations of the earth, creating the world, Jesus was right there on his side, on his right hand side. And Jesus is the fulfillment of prophecy. Jesus is the fulfillment of prophecy. So everything that takes place is not done without Jesus because in him there is life. Whether it's the grass or the lilies of the field, whether it's the roaring waters, whether it's our children, whether it's us, whatever we see is prophetic because Jesus brings about a life to it. In Jesus, everything is created. It says nothing was created without him. This is why when Jesus came, when God sent his one and only son down to die on a cross for us, this is why we had to go through him because he fulfills prophecies. He is prophecy being fulfilled. So if we have to imitate Jesus, be imitators of him, right? Then we have to imitate the way that he spoke. We have to imitate how God created him because we are created the same way that Jesus was created. When he came, he had all authority and all power on the earth. Every time he spoke out, he spoke a prophetic word from the Bible. He was fulfilling prophecies. So as we speak out, and especially when we're dealing with the enemy, we have to speak out against, amen, we have to speak out against the demonic things using the word of God, which is spirit and life. It is spirit and life. And Jesus brings about that life. So when we speak out, there is prophecy. And that prophecy is the word of God, which now dispatch angels, according to Psalms 91. He said, are they not ministering angels? So they come and they fight because the word of God is Jesus. He is the word. He is the word being fulfilled. And what does Jesus come from? Jesus comes from God. You see, everything is prophetic. So we have to understand how deep it is. Once we get the depth of how powerful prophecy is, now we can understand how to use our tongues. Now we can understand how to fight spiritual warfare, how to cast out demons. Amen. Because we have the understanding now of what prophecy is. So this is part one of the school of the prophets. And I will be getting into some more details. Amen. At a later time, I pray that this was of spiritual insight unto you and that it blessed you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Whoever you are, wherever you are, all around the world, Jesus loves you.